welcome back to another episode of Nemson on the Madlands. And today we are going to be doing something to the arena. Now I've already started working a few bits out. And I've invited all of the Madlanders to come and help me out and donate resources and all that sort of stuff. But it's about time that this thing got rolling. And Ghost, who uh, made a very good start... Uh, has not been able to finish it and doesn't look likely to be able to finish it uh, in the future. So he's done a few things for me and then left me in charge. So one thing that we've gone ahead and sorted out is putting pillars down. So as you can see over there I've got a run of pillars similar to the ones that I suggested over in the far corner there for Little Venice. Uh, started laying out and He's done all the groundwork for me, laying the circle down and laying the circle at the above as well and placing where he thinks the pillars would be best spaced to keep it symmetrical on all four sides of the circle itself. How I'm going to get around the corners, I've still got to figure out for myself, but that's fine. Uh, but Ghost has done an splendid job so far, but now I'm taking over the project. Uh, the train station's near enough finished. Uh, I thought it was pretty much finished from the outside, but now I look at it from down here, I think that end there needs to be a bit more blocky like that bit over there. So I'll work on adding that bit in. But I've done the front and the back side and all the internals and everything now. It's just a few bits of redstone messing about downstairs to make it look cool. Which we'll do another episode, there's no rush to get that done. It's functioning at the minute, it just needs a little prettifying on that far edge just to tie it in properly. Uh, but the other thing that I've got to do with the train station is tie it in to this arena build. Uh, now the arena, this is sort of a plan that I showed Andy a minute ago. Uh, the arena will cut through here and hit on this join here. So I'm going to have to join in between the arena and the train station. Uh, at any rate so I'm gonna get the arena built up a little bit more and then faff around with combining the two and doing all the fine detail work there's a lot that's gonna be done and we're all gonna be in team speak so a bit later on in this video we'll cut to um, what we did now I'm trying to think of a way of doing a bit of a time-lapse for you guys maybe from the top of there looking down to watch the progression of the arena build. I don't know how that's going to work out just yet. So bear with me on that. And hopefully there will be some footage later in this episode. Uh, but I'm going to try and get as much done as we possibly can. Let's, let's just have a look here. Look. So <clears throat> the uh, train station. I brought it out and made a room on the end that's got that shape on it. And... It looks pretty cool from the inside. I'll give you a better guided tour once I've bulked it out a bit. But now I see that that row there needs bulking out to match the other side. I'll have to mess around with it a bit more at a later date. But it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty finished. I still haven't figured out whether I want to fill that with glass or whether I want to do an image of some kind in pixel art. Uh, I don't know yet. I haven't decided. All I know is that's the sort of shape that I'm going for. So we're leaving it like that. Now, for the most part, the arena is staying the same uh, as it was originally intended. The seating is going to come up to this row here, all the way around. We see it laid out nicely by Ghost. Um, but I'm concerned with mob spawning and lighting and things like that. So, I'm thinking that this stone here needs to change. I'm thinking of changing it up to uh, have wooden stairs. Uh, potentially wooden stairs, maybe maybe sla uh, sandstone stairs as well and things like that to give it uh, four quarters, maybe like for four teams. Uh, it's an awful lot of wool to be messing about with and the wool doesn't actually stop the mobs spawning. And I don't really want mobs spawning up and around the seating of the arena. So that's not going to happen. The other thing that is going to go on is the pillars. I'm planning on sending the pillars higher up into the sky. 
the pillars will reach up potentially uh, potentially as far as the sort of top edge of the train station there reaching up so that they're all pillars sticking out above the seating uh, but with this little bit of a, a half uh, one and a half wall a one and a half wall at the back of the seating but open air to the environment around to let all the daylight in and all that so that's going to be another thing that we're going to add in and then I also fancied putting a, a sort of a dome on top of the arena floor itself so uh, when you come down here you sort of pushed up against the glass watching what's going on inside the arena and whenever you're up here in the seating you're looking down into the glass and seeing what's going on inside it'll keep it free from the elements and the like as well uh, there's the two things I may even make the arena floor itself slightly smaller and have like a, a race track around the outside and an actual arena for fighting and stuff on the inside but those are things still to be defined uh, things that will progress as we find problems and solutions later on in this episode with all the guys helping us out. So, without further ado, I will uh, pass you over to the group chat, um, which right at this minute I have no idea whether it's going to come out like a load of squabbling kids or whether we're going to be an awesome team getting things done very quickly around the place. Uh, I have Electron B up on top of the train station. Uh, he is uh, recording, basically. I've got uh, Sam's computer on upstairs and it's just set to record for a time lapse of some description. Uh, so he's got a perfect view of the entire arena area uh, all set up for him to just sit there recording. Uh, I think the kids might be watching for the next 10 or 15 minutes until they get themselves off to sleep. So as for getting started, um, I'm not going to be doing uh, teams and things like that. It's going to be whoever's here can have something to do. Right? So and let's see there are a few things that I need to show you guys already so if anyone is around the arena come on up to the entrance area well if somebody didn't take my donkey <laughs> okay well at least gecko come to the entrance area because oh, I was working here you are already working on the entrance yeah good yep. uh, well toast uh, this is the design for the stairs. Uh, this design for the stairs is the seating plan. To make it nice and simple, it's very, very, very simple. Okay, we've got two blocks coming out from the wall. Yeah, and yeah. then stairs wrapping all the way around. The Ooh, same. Broke it. Same curve. Oh no! I didn't you, mean to do that. You broke it already. Broke it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, Toast, if we can continue trying to talk like we are actually commentating a video for YouTube viewers to watch. Okay. Okay. And I'll okay. edit that little bit out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so. Ah, oh dear. Andy! Yes, fat man. Come over here. I have a special job for you, Andy. Ah, oh, special. Special, special job on this lovely rainy day. The uh, the pillars that have been carefully laid out by Ghost mm -hmm. happen to fall upon your road. So the wall of the arena is on your road. Mm -hmm. Now what I thought, instead of moving your road one block this way, is we put the road on both sides of the pillars and have archways and the road literally is a double sized road with archways uh, archway pillars in between oh, like right. some French city or something all right uh, so it is now three blocks then we just extend uh, these slabs to six that will be one two three and then here the steps yes 
and then, right, because the pillars hit the road, I would like you to design a very simple but ornate little section at the base of the towers. Okay, at the base of the pillars that matches into your road nicely, fits snugly into your road. Uh, and then we will use that little design, that bit of detail that you add to the bottom of all the pillars, mm. all the way around the arena when you're done with it. No. Yeah. Uh, that's the reason why you put everywhere in the dirt. Yes, because it needs to be finished off by somebody who's going to do the road. All right. Yeah, sure. And then uh, we'll yeah. we'll take your design from here and do all of the pillars all the way around with the same little bit of a detail. It's just to make it come out like the bottom of a uh, normal like pillar. Yeah. Shall I also relay this route because it takes now a little corner, but just to make this route straighter? Straighter, yeah. You could do, but then this plot would stay open for somebody to use, wouldn't it? So you could have this as somebody can build something here, can't they? Yeah. yeah oh, thanks for that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, also, you might want to watch what you're doing around here because it's a bit open to the elements and all. Oh, I've been used to that. Uh, <laughs> um, and all right. On, on the other side, you have the water. Yeah. Is so, that not part of me? Or, uh... Yeah, you can carry on doing the pillars if you want. But on the water side, we'll use some mossy cobble, uh, mossy bricks. And also whatever little design you put into the base of the pillars. All right. But yeah. where my road ends, that's also the end of the entire road. Um. I don't have to build more roads. That's no, much. no, no. That's fine. We might. All right. Maybe whoever's uh, got this might want to do something around the place. But no, this is the dead end. This is good. All right. I. Uh... Maybe there'll be another way into the arena just at the end of the road here. Yeah, maybe. Sort of strange get going, maybe. Yeah. But we don't need that right now. Once the arena's built, people can start building little things around it, can't they? Okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Alright, Andy, you're sorted. There's loads of stuff in the chests in the centre of the arena. Help yourself to what you need. And uh, this spider jockey. I haven't seen spider jockeys, and then I see two in one day. You got a name tag for that spider jockey? No, no, no. Is it still alive? Hey? Is it still alive? No, I killed it. Damn it. It was going to kill me, so I had to kill it first. Who was trying to answer the question? What happens when you name one? <laughs> well, we'll find another one. All right, Gecko. I presume yes. you've already started with the entrance. Yes, I started a little while ago. Yeah, I figured this was going to be your job. Because you made such a good job of the start archway. Ah, thank you. We would also like to continue putting these arches between all the pillars. Yep. So we're taking your design here for the archway. And we're going to blend that throughout the design between the pillars. But your main arch still needs to be your focus to start off with. And then we can sort of copy that and miniaturise it slightly all the way around the arena. Okay. Yeah, you got it? And yeah. of course, nice sexy roof in here, which is what you've been working on already. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to make everything like drag you into the tunnel that I'm building. That's good. I've already built. It's looking good so far. I'm leaving you with that. And then once yeah. you've done that, if you can start trying to figure out how to get the arches into between all the pillars. Oh, yeah, and just start, yeah, just start working from your archway to the left and to the right. And we'll see which, or whether it looks right, and we'll continue it the rest of the way around afterwards. Ooh. All right, mate. Um, mime. Where is the king? Uh, is it, is it yeah. Good? Yeah, that's right. right. It's simple, isn't it? That's what I'm yeah. trying to do. Just keep it simple. Right. Take a look at this. This is the simple seating design that I've come up with that anybody can duplicate what you're going to be doing <laughs> Shut up. what you're going to be doing is duplicating this but with nether brick stairs instead of sandstone stairs oh okay okay and am i going to use stone slabs in the still middle still stone slabs like yeah that? yeah 
Unless it okay. looks really odd, but I'm going to try and keep the stone slabs as the theme going all the way through the arena. Because they're everywhere, aren't they? So we want to use them everywhere. So, you see where I'm standing right. now, though? You see where I am now? Yeah? Yep. This is the cut-off point for the corner. Yeah? So, yeah. to keep the design nice and simple and not try and go around the corner, you need to keep this straight edge on yours. Okay? Okay. It's marked... Oh, man, I feel the pressure. It's marked by this torch here. So it's a straight line towards the train station from that block. So this is the last block line that you'd work off. Yes. Okay. Yeah? So you'll have a straight line right, going so... on this side. Okay, so there's just an empty space in between these two yes. straight e lines, right? Each corner, okay. each corner will have a different use. For instance, the corner okay. over by M-Dog's mob farm... M-Dog's going to build some way of keeping the prisoners in, ready to release into the arena. To allow okay. to allow for the whoever builds something in one of the corners to have a bit more room to move around and to create, we'll put the seating on after they've finished building their corner in. And then if the seating has to have slightly different arrangement in the corners, it's good. It's fine. Okay. And because nether yes. brick and sandstone look so nice together, I decided that the sandstone and the nether brick would end up joining in this corner at some point. Yeah? Ooh, a hybrid. A hybrid. So over here, you have the difficult problem that some of these have already been started. Uh -oh. So you're also going to need to start hacking out some of the old stuff in order to make the new. But I wouldn't okay. suggest you start off by hacking it all out. I would just hack it out as you need to. Okay. Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. Hail King. So if you want to double check <laughs> double check how it is done over at the sandstone. It's straight okay. out straight out two blocks of half slab wood in oak. Then a full connected route of stairs all the way round. And then a full connected route of slabs all the way round. Then a full connected stairs. Then a full... It's just literally an outline completely connected every time. Alternating between the two. I get it. I see. It's nice and simple. Um, but your task is hard because you've got to remove some steps at the same time. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Uh, I think you can manage. Do I have to replicate something like this? No, you don't need that. That's just because it's the entrance. Okay. Yours will oh, be okay. flush. Good. Yeah, yours will be flush. User joined your channel. Hello, somebody. Oh. All right, so I'll get started on that right now. Thank you very much. Kyle. Are you the only one here that I haven't given a job to yet? Much, nope. think, yeah. You haven't given me, me a job. Very busy. Oh, and Ant. Yeah. Yep. Right, well. Um, Ant and Kyle. Do you prefer Birch or... What's the dark wood? Um, <laughs> spruce. Spruce, yeah. Birch or spruce? Uh, let me see what I have more of. No, no, there's plenty of supplies here at the arena. Ah. Yeah, I'll go Birch. Birch, that means that Kyle, you're on the other one. Spruce. Spruce. Right. That good for you? Yep. So, Spruce steps. And you're going to be on the opposite side of the arena to where Mime's working and the train station is. So, you're going to be on this side of the arena. Have you heard what I've been saying to Mime and Toast about the layout? Uh, partly. Partly. Well, have a look at what the sandstone step layout is and duplicate that but instead of sandstone stairs use um, uh, the, the, yeah, that wood stuff that you've got why is it that I cannot say spruce today I'm having <laughs> a special day I'm having a special anti-spruce day yeah hey Namsan um, should I place the, uh, the wood slabs here now or should I first tear down this thing, Majig? Uh, you can do it any way you want.
If it's easier for you just to do the okay. two slabs first, and then you know where you are with the steps, don't you? I mean, yep. Kyle's okay. just following the dirt outline over that side, but you can uh, follow okay. the wall this way. Comprende. Comprende, comprende. Uh, and if anyone comprende, else... Senor. If anyone else joins... Uh, uh, Kyle's over here. We'll get Kyle over here to help remove blocks for you. So Hooray! Uh, so what do you want me to do? Right, Ant. Uh, have you been listening to how I've been telling everybody else to do the stairs? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to say no. Okay, come on over here then and I'll explain again. It's fine. It's easy. And eggs! The milkman! The milkman's here! Except he's not in team speak. Oh. Ah! Okay, well, Mime, just point him to cutting down bits of stuff that you don't want that's in the way. Okay, I'll tell him that when he gets on. Emson, we have a problem. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> right, here, you've put the, this rim around the edge here, um, and if I continue to do this, where's the sandstone stairs going to go? Underneath uh, it. No, just keep going. Keep going. And I have removed the problem. Oh, so you wanted... Okay. You could have just had to remove it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem's only there because that's the layout Ghost put down. And it's ah. more... It's definitely the guideline. It's the outline that I thought it might lead up to. But it doesn't. And it doesn't matter that it doesn't because the stairs will look good as seating anyway, regardless. Okay. Uh, so just remember not to go any higher than where they are, though. There's no need to go any higher than the level that they're at. So after... After one more step, you're yeah. pro this is probably right. So don't go any higher than this slab all the way around. Okay. Yeah. Did everyone else who's working on seating get that? Don't go any higher than the outer rim of slabs that's already been laid down. Yeah, good, good. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Okay, right. Well, now I am going to get Electon B to start recording the time lapse. And then I'm going to join you to get <laughs> stuff done. You have your own special project. Yeah, I actually um, finished it all out. Oh wait, I need to record. Good plan. Yeah, I actually, <laughs> I actually uh, built it all out of my creative world, and um, stop it. <laughs> and uh, there's a couple sections to it. The first one is the mob processor, which <laughs> actually is pretty small, and then uh, the next one is. Like the thing to select where the mobs go, and then the third and final one, which is what we really need to tie into here, is um, like the thing that allows you to customize the mobs and make sure that they will actually take the items. Okay, well, over here, 
Inside the arena wall, this few dirt blocks I'm standing next to being the marker for the arena wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything up to the entrance over there where Gecko's making the entrance. Mm -hmm. All the way around to where the middle point of this is. Could be okay. yours to do whatever you need. All of that <clears throat> space. Well, that's... And it also goes so all the way up. More than I need. It goes all the way up to those slabs up there. All right. So, however you want to use this space for your project, use it, and then we'll prettify it afterwards and prettify put, and put rooms and stuff. Uh, and also, I guess we're going to need a doorway through into the arena to send the mobs. So, however right. that looks to you. It can just be broken through the wall. Okay. okay. So you've got loads of space <laughs> and uh, plenty to be able to do. I mean, you could have this as holding cells and sorting cells and all that. You could have it all on show if you wanted so that people can walk in through the door and come and see all the mobs on show, like a gladiatorial arena where all of the uh, gladiators and prisoners and all that are all held in cells together before they get released out to fight. It's up to you. You must have some idea of how you want to set it up. Just saying you've got all of this space. Yep, this is... I mean, considering I already built the thing and it takes up like a 20 by 20 by 10 area, uh, this is a lot more than I need, so we're all good. Good, good. Cool. symmetrical to me and I think Ghost no, no. checked it. Um, Ghost. This side there's eight empty spaces before the pillar and that side there's nine <laughs> empty spaces before the pillar. Uh -huh. Did, <laughs> Go did Ghost make it four wide? Five wide? You've got you're working in <clears> odd <throat> numbers. Did Ghost work in even numbers? I don't know. I never spoke to him. He just built the he, entrance. <laughs> he didn't tell us. Well he left Someone had already left the dome of the entrance there. I just continued it on. Okay. Um, I can't say you can tell. So either your entrance needs to have an extra block added in order to make the arena uh, odd numbers work for your entrance in odd numbers, or you creatively hide the fact that the arena's in odd numbers, uh, in even numbers, and you're in odd numbers. Ooh, I have a third option. We tear the whole arena down. And start over. <laughs> <laughs> the arena Let's just restart the, the map. <laughs> <laughs>
think we have made <laughs> great progress today. Much more progress than potentially for the last two months. Thank you, oh, Mdog. Way more progress than would have ever been made. Now, who wants to continue the building attitude and come finish Gecko Tech with me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Uh, thank you all for putting in resources and your time to make this section of the build go quickly for me. I will continue from here uh, on other days and in other episodes on the Madlands. <laughs>